It's not just a rumour, it's real, it's here. It's the Panasonic GH5S. But what's new? There's been plenty of coverage on the rumours blogs about the GH5S and the... Does that mean the GH5 price goes down? What's up everyone? Not really a whole lot going on today at all. I mean, it's raining outside, which is like a once in a blue moon in LA. It's it's unheard of and it's raining it's raining pretty nicely. I mean, it's going to be good for everything, but it was coming down pretty hard at one point. But anyways, um don't worry, the Disneyland trip is still going on. Uh, that might be in this video, or it might be in the next vlog. Don't know yet. Just wanted to go over, I guess, kind of like the whole point of the vlogs. I mean, I know a lot of people have like a purpose behind their vlogs, and someone asked me the other day, like, you know, what's what's the point in your vlogs? And it wasn't mean, it was, it was very polite. It wasn't them, you know, saying, you know, ah, you shouldn't vlog or things like that. It was just asking, you know, why is it you're vlogging? And I can break it down into like three main reasons. There's obviously many, many more reasons, but there's three big ones. And, you know, many people look at a vlog and there's, you know, a purpose behind the vlog. Like if you look, if you look at Jake's, he's going against the formula. If you look at uh, Lincoln's, he's doing shots of bliss. I don't have that. I don't have like a, a kind of like purpose behind the vlog. It's just my vlog. Um, so uh, I kind of break it down into like three little segments, uh, three, three main reasons. And the first being, which I think is kind of like the obvious reason, is, you know, it's going to be something kind of nice to, to look back on, you know, 10 years from now, five years from now, even just one year from now, just to kind of look back at what was going on in your life. And even just like some of the some clips that I have here and there when I wasn't vlogging of things from, you know, two or three years ago. It's nice to look back at it and, you know, you might, you might have your friends in it, so you look at it with them and it's just kind of a nice little, little bit of a reminder of what you were doing, where you were, and, you know, things like that. So that's reason number one. Then there's reason number two, which is the more technical reason, uh, since I, you know, want to go into video, I want to become a cinematographer, I want to, I, you know, I, I want to just get better with video. I don't always have project after project after project, you know, in my hands to do. So like, for example, I flew back down here and I'm here for two months almost for winter break. And, you know, it's, I don't have a project to do every single time. I did uh, finish that uh, project for Logan for their, uh, their one Christmas project. Again, Logan, if you're watching in the family, thank you so much for letting me be a part of that. Uh, I'm going to be doing an, a video for um, another promotional video for my dad's uh, high school where he's the principal over there. Uh, and you know, sometimes uh, an event here and there that I'll, I'll photograph. Having those things to do, it's, it's like practice. You know the saying, practice, make, practice, the. It, it all pretty much starts with the saying, you know, practice makes perfect. Um, to get good and to get really good at something, you just have to practice, keep doing it over and over and over again. And, you know, I don't always have a project every week to work on because, you know, as soon as I get all of the, fi all of the footage for a project, I want to get it to that person as soon as I can. So, kind of doing the vlogs gives me something to do on a weekly basis because I've been putting them out once a week. Once I go back into school, I don't know if I'm going to be, be able to do it, you know, every single week. But... Doing the vlogs once a week has given me kind of the challenge to, okay, I have to think of something creative, something that is mildly <laughs> entertaining, that isn't, you know, doing chores every single day, uh, that I can, you know, create into a bit of a story and then share that with you guys. So, it's kind of, one, practicing my creativity, but it's also practicing uh, just my video skills, getting better with everything, because I haven't taken like any film classes, any photo classes or anything like that. I've done everything on online. I've picked up from um, Manuel, a good friend of mine. I've picked up from, 
you know, just tips and tricks that I've heard from other people and everything's just been completely self-taught, which isn't uncommon for something like this, especially starting out, but I've been doing it now for a year and a half and I know I've gotten better with from where I started. I know I have so much more to come and so much more to learn. I don't think that, you know, we ever stop learning. And in this career, it just keeps on growing and growing. So it, it lets me practice and it lets me get better and it just gives me, you know, something to do so that I'm not, you know, idle with creating content and just sitting there doing nothing. So that's number two. Number three is the simplest one. It is just a ton of fun to go outside and vlog. If you've never done it, it's kind of daunting and challenging at first because, you know, you're thinking about, whoa, you're thinking about what is everyone else thinking about this doofus with a camera in his face uh, walking around in public. You know, it's unless you have the personality where you don't care at all what someone else is going to think in that moment, which surprisingly, it's actually the exact opposite. People have been you know, like, oh, that's really cool, or, you know, can I be in it? Or they'll say, oh, cool, you're vlogging, and it's, it's not, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, you know, people are going to make fun of you, and I haven't had that happen not once, not, not yet, and it's been, it's just really, really a ton of fun. You know, you get to go out, do something fun, record yourself, and then, you know, you're pumped to come back and make the video. So, those are my three little reasons uh, as to why I'm vlogging and why why it is that I decided to actually start vlogging but from starting the vlog I think I went from like 20 to 40 subscribers so thanks to those 20 that hopped in happy that you're here and uh, I don't know really where we're going but that's also another reason why I'm doing this is because I know I want to go into video I know my dream is to become a cinematographer you know and work behind the camera on movies you know things like that but I don't know how I'm gonna get there. I know I, I, I will get there someday. I know I will, but the fun part is gonna be how I get there. And that's also one of the reasons that I wanted to start vlogging because I have so many friends and so many people who have helped me along the way and I, I wouldn't have been able to get where I am today without any of them, without the help that I get and the support that, that I've received. So part of it is also that vlogging because I'll get to look at that and you know know that there's people that are important in my life that has helped me and supported me through pretty much everything that I want to do so there's another reason and we'll see if I can do the one vlog per week once I'm in school the funny thing is it's almost like college has been easier than high school for me so far I know I'm only in sophomore year but so far it's felt like it's easier just because I did a lot of stuff in high school and I did a lot of stuff like in general at that school. I would, you know, paint the basketball court. I did cross country. I did volleyball. I did over 800 hours of theater. So I did, I did a lot of that high school at, at, at my high school. And you know, that's not a bad thing. I just feel like college so far has been a lot easier for me than it has been for high school. Still got two more years though, so we'll see if that changes. So uh, I really just wanted to make that video just because, you know, I had the question asked, someone asked me the question, you know, why are you vlogging? And those are my reasons. So thanks so much for watching. And tomorrow we're going to Disneyland. So next week I should have that vlog up. And um, yeah, thanks again to those new 20 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't know why, I see you guys.